you got to be really impressed with these guys. They fought, took care of business, business with Gillette. You got yourself a spot in the Northwest Regional Tournament. Uh, overall, I think you got to be pretty satisfied. I mean, granted, you, you didn't get the championship, but overall, still pretty good. Yeah, you know, uh, these guys came in here, and, and we just took it one game at a time, and, and Gillette has a great ball club, and we played Casper, and they have a good team. So to be able to, to compete with those two teams and, and kind of sneak a couple wins away, uh, it was a great great opportunity for us, especially for our young kids to have this experience. I think you surprised a lot of people, and maybe even yourselves, when th- that first game against Gillette, when you beat them up in game two. I mean, what, what went right in that game back on Wednesday? Well, you know, it was just one of those games, and baseball's funny. Sometimes, every time you hit the ball, it, it finds a hole or it, it falls in. And it's just a game that everything we hit seemed to be in the right spot. So, um, you know, it was fortunate for us to, to have that because we were able to save some pitching and, and, you know, extend it for today. So, uh, But we played good defense and, and did a good job on the mound, too. So we just did an all-around great job that game. Now, the second time against Gillette, you found yourself in that 9-2 hole. Uh, wh- what did you tell your guys? Because obviously they didn't get a give up. They kept fighting. What did you tell them, and how did, the, how did they respond? Well, you know, I just talked to them and said, this is, uh, I think, our 64th game this year. We've been down a lot. Uh, these nine-inning games, a lot can happen. Um, those two extra innings uh, give you an advantage uh, when you're down, actually. So uh, we've fought all year. I mean, we've came back several times, and um, this is a great group of kids. They're determined, and, you know, I just I, I had a feeling that we were going to make a run. Um, uh, and when we did, you know, it was just a, a great, great job by our team. What were things like at the start of the season? I mean, I know this team got off to a decent start, then slowly started getting better. The confidence started building. The record started getting better as well. So what was kind of, what was kind of, how was the team improving, I should say? Well, we're young. Uh, you know, we have start sometimes three, four sophomores. So we've only got two seniors that, that start on our team. So with those younger kids, it took them a little bit longer to adjust to this higher level of play. Um, but after, you know, after we played a good 20 games, they were all adjusted and, and we just went from there. So uh, just a young team. It took them a while to, to catch up. The season's not over. You got the AA Northwest Regional Tournament in Cheyenne next week, uh, the Montana champ. Right now, we don't know who that is, but uh, what, what's kind of your approach going into this tournament? I mean, you're going to see a much different competition, a lot of out-of-state competition. What, what can you really do to get ready for this tournament? Well, we've prepared ourselves all season. We've played playing teams from out-of-state all year. We've been to Omaha, played teams from Nebraska. We've played teams from Texas. We've played teams from uh, Arizona, teams from Las Vegas. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, nothing we haven't seen. We've faced a lot of good pitching this year. Um, uh, you know, our weaknesses is with our pitchers sometimes when we don't throw strikes. So I think that if we go out and with the two guys that we have that are pretty solid, we'll compete. I don't know if we'll win, but we're going to give it our, our best try. And seeing how you actually have been in Cheyenne, you've played on their field a couple times this year, so you got some familiar. You're somewhat familiar uh, with the conditions. Can can you use that to your advantage, any? Oh, I think it does give us an advantage over some of the other teams who haven't played. You know, it's a turf field, so I think that could be an advantage for us that we've played on on several turf fields several times this year. So, um, you know, it, I think it'll help just the way the ball tracks and how it carries and, and the outfield grass, the speed of it, all that stuff will will play uh, to our advantage because we know how it is already.